Javala Shanti here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you've never seen my face before, my name is Javala Shanti and today we're going book shopping. Okay, you guys, which I'm super excited for because, you know, book shopping is like one of my favorite things to do on my channel. We get to talk about books. We get to shop. My two favorite things, actually. So that's what we're doing today. I'm really, really excited. We're going to go to Barnes & Noble. We're also going to go to Target because you guys know Target got the deals. And one thing about me is I love a good deal. So we're going to go to Target as well. I'm really excited. I'm a little bit tired today and I don't want to get coffee. But I might go to Starbucks and get like a little pumpkin chai, you know, because pumpkin is back as of yesterday, which I didn't get anything yesterday. So I'm going to get something today. Okay, so we're balling out today, y'all. <laughs> If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you should definitely subscribe and check out like my last couple videos because I've been doing more like lifestyle content lately and so definitely check that out. But I'm really excited to hop into September with the good vibes, with the good energy, with the good spirit. So without further ado, let's go to Barnes & Noble. <laughs> I just got out of Barnes & Noble. I got two books there. Um, one of them is like a new release that literally came out today. So I'm really, really excited to talk about that later. So definitely stay tuned for the haul. It's gonna be here, it's gonna be good, okay? It's a little hot right now. Like I usually go book shopping. Like when I go book shopping, it's usually around like 12. Right now it's 3.42. I thought it would be a lot busier here at Barnes & Noble, but it was like perfect. I was having a great time. Um, but now I'm gonna head to Target. When I was in Barnes & Noble, I ended up making a whole list of like books that I want to buy. The book that's on my list now is A Long Shot by Kennedy Ryan. She's a POC author, which I've been trying to read a lot more POC stories because I don't. And I feel like it's important to see people who look like me or like other POC people in love and all that good stuff. Like we need to hear their stories, okay? Let me turn my AC on because it's too hot to be sitting in this car with no AC. Then, um, Nora Goes Off Script by Annabelle Monaghan. I read, um, Every Summer After- No, it's not Every Summer After. Same time next summer, I think. I read that by her last month, and it was such a phenomenal read. Such a good read. I love how she writes. I love her imagery. So now I'm obsessed with her, and I know she wrote Nora Goes Off Script. I didn't get, um, Nora Goes Off Script, even though I saw it in Barnes & Noble, because I feel like it was a little bit more expensive, or, like, too expensive for- the book size that you get. I don't know, Barnes & Noble is just like more expensive I feel like. I also saw The Long Game by Elena Armas. This book on Google, it says it doesn't come out until September, but it's out right now in Barnes & Noble. So I'm like, I don't know if that's like a mistake or like, is it like a special edition or something? I don't know. Then Too Late by Colleen Hoover. I haven't read this book yet by her and I wanna read it. And it kind of gives like, I feel like it's gonna give low key like, fall vibes or like murder mystery vibes or like haunted vibes i don't know but i th based on the cover it looks kind of spooky so i added those to my list now we're gonna go to target and i'm sure my list is gonna grow i like going to target because i feel like i get a lot more bang for my buck Yeah, 
guys, I just got out of Target. The lighting's a little bit weird right now. I just got out of Target. I stopped and I got my first little pumpkin flavored drink for the season. And let's just say I'm hype. I'm so happy. Literally last October, last fall, I, everything I ate was pumpkin. Okay, I'm in my pumpkin era. I got the ice pumpkin cream chai tea latte. It's a mouthful, I know, but it tastes so good it tastes so good like oh, i could cry this shit is so good alrighty friends i'm back home and ready to give you guys my little haul i read you guys the little tbr list that i made once i got out of Barnes and noble and i got a few things off of there i didn't get nor goes off script some reason target didn't have that and the long game by elena armis i knew it was out wrong because when i looked it up it says because i haven't even heard of that book actually and i haven't heard of it so i'm like um is this supposed to be out when i looked it out when i looked it up it wasn't supposed to be out till like september 16th or something like that then um i found this other book that i want to get it's black candle woman by diana marie brown i didn't get it because it was like 20 dollars and i feel like that's a little bit too much it was hardcover but like there's no space in the budget for a 20 dollar book right now like it would be nice if there's like a little sale maybe for like black friday or something but i feel like that would also be like a really good read for the fall because it was about like black women and like there's like a curse on their family and anytime one of them have found like a lover the lover dies or something like that i don't know but it sounded really really good and when i read the synopsis i was like i'm obsessed and i wanted to get it so bad but i did it because 20 dollars no 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 too expensive as you guys know i went to barnes and noble and i also went to target tarjay and i got two books at barnes and noble i wanted to get like some fall themed books didn't really get that but i did get a new release which is king of pride by anna Hong and i'm obsessed with this woman i want to read more um poc books she's asian which we love her books just always have asian characters which love down and we also get a little bit of culture in there which i love king of pride is her latest release it literally came out yesterday which is august 25th so this is king of pride by anna huang i haven't really read the synopsis but i know i'm obsessed with anything written by her like the spice the plot twist the I don't know they're just crazy so i'll read the synopsis real quick she's his opposite in every way and the greatest temptation he's ever known reserved controlled and proper to a fault kai young has neither the time nor the inclination for chaos and isabella with her purple hair and inappropriate jokes is chaos personified with a crucial ceo vote looming and a media empire at stake the billionaire here can't afford the distraction she brings isabella is everything he shouldn't want but with every look and every touch he's tempted to break all his rules and claim her as his own oh my goodness oh my god i already know this is gonna be so good it's gonna be so spicy oh my god you guys will understand my obsession with Anna Wong. Like, she delivers every single time from the Twisted series to the King of Sin series. Like, I'm excited for the second book. And I'm excited for the next book after this. I don't know the name, but I'm excited for that as well. Then another book I got, I wanted to do like a little murder mystery or like something like kind of spooky murder vibes so i got this book by geneva rose she is the author of the perfect marriage which when i tell you that book had me sitting on the front of my seat that book was so good so i read that earlier this year so i got this next book by her it is one of us is dead by geneva rose opulent sex betrayal sometimes friendship can be deadly meet the woman of buckhead a place of expensive cars huge houses and competitive friendships shannon was once the queen of buckhead but she's been unceremoniously dumped by bryce her politician boyfriend when bryce replaces her with a much younger woman shannon sets out to take revenge Crystal has stepped into Shannon's old shoes, a young and innocent Texan girl. She simply has no idea what she's up against. Olivia has waited years to take Shannon's crown as the unofficial queen of Buckhead. Finally, her moment has come, but to take her rightful place, she will need to use every backstabbing, manipulative, underhanded trick in the book. 
Jenny owns Glow, the most exclusive salon in town. Jenny knows her client's secrets and the darkest desires, but will she ever tell? Who amongst these women will be clever enough to survive Buckhead? And who will wind up dead? They say that friendships can be complex, but no one said it could ever be this deadly. Are you kidding me? This sounds so good. And I'm really, really excited to see what Miss Geneva Rose has for us. Let me give you guys my Target haul. First book I got is In the Likely Event by Rebecca Yaris. Literally this entire week, I've been seeing everyone and their mother post this book on stories. And so I had to get it, but I didn't get it before my trip because it has a plane on it. And I feel like I already knew what was going to happen in this book. And I was traveling on a plane, so I was like, don't need no jump scares, no nightmares, no thank you. So I finally got this because I won't be traveling for a while. I'm going to read the synopsis real quick. Is it a second chance if you've never had a first? When Izzy Astor gets on a plane to go home, she isn't expecting much. It's the usual holiday trip experience, busy, crowded, stressful. Then she spots her seatmate, who is anything but ordinary. Nate Thielen? Thielen? Sports dark hair, blue eyes, and a delicious rugged charm that Izzy can't resist. Their connection is undeniable. Izzy never believed in destiny before, but she does now. Okay, Izzy. Just 90 seconds after takeoff, their plane goes down in the Missouri River. Their lives change. They change. Nate goes on to a career in the military when Izzy finds her way into politics. Despite a few chance encounters over the years, the timing never feels right. Then comes a high-stake reunion in Afghanistan, where Nate is tasked with protecting Izzy's life. He'll do anything to keep her safe and everything to win her heart. Oh, this sounds so good, you guys. I'm excited to read this. I've been obsessed with Kennedy Ryan. I read, um, before I let go by her, I read The Kingmaker by her, and I read, um, what was the other book? The Rebel King by her. I'm gonna tell you guys, I ate those books up. And I was starving for more because they're so good. So I saw she had another book. And this is a part of like the Hoop series, I think. And it is Long Shot by Kennedy Ryan. I'll read the synopsis. She kissed the prince and he turned into a fraud. Now her fairy tale is upside down. Iris Dupree meets August West in a sports bar during her last semester of college. It's the conversation of a lifetime and sends sparks flying in every direction. The connection is undeniable. But the timing is all wrong. August is poised for the NBA draft. And Iris belongs to another man. Basketball's golden boy and August's longtime rival. The two go their separate ways, but they often recall that electric night and what could have been. While August has embarked on his all-star life, studded with wealth and fame, Iris's perfect public relationship has become a nightmare behind closed doors. Oh, I'm scared. A tarnished dream of a fool's gold. When August re-enters her life, the world seems briefly brightened again. But Iris's dark nights are not over yet. To survive, she must build her own strength and trust that her bond with August can endure after all this time. Even when her fraudulent prince has vowed to never let her go. This sounds crazy. I hope this does not have like an abusive relationship or something, but this sounds really good though and I'm excited. I love, I love, I'm obsessed with Miss Kennedy Ryan. All right, the last book I got is Too Late by Colleen Hoover and I have not read a Colleen Hoover book in months. I feel like I haven't read a Colleen Hoover book since like January. It's August, it's September. So that's a long time for me at least. Too Late by Colleen Hoover. This is a psychological, suspenseful thriller of obsession and dangerous love. Sloane will go through hell and back for those she loves, and she does so every single day. Caught up with the alluring Asa Jackson, a notorious drug trafficker, Sloane has finally found a lifetime to cling to, even if it's meant compromising her morals. She has in dire straits trying to pay for her brother's care until she met Asa. But as the loan becomes emotionally and economically reliant on him, he in turn developed a disturbing obsession with her. Oh, she. 
This sounds crazy. One that becomes increasingly dangerous every day. When undercover DEA agent Carter enters a picture, Salone's surprised to feel an immediate attraction between them. Despite knowing that if Asa finds out, he will kill him. And Asa has always been a step ahead of everyone in his life, including Salone. No one has ever gotten in his way. No one except Carter. Together, Salone and Carter must find a way out before it's too late. <sighs> this sounds crazy, but it also sounds so good. And one thing about Miss Colleen Hoover, she is going to cause you emotional damage. She is going to take you up and down a roller coaster. So I'm excited. <laughs> I'm really really excited to read all these books. I got one, two, three, four, five books in this haul and these all sound so good. I'm gonna, probably after this video, I'm gonna post a September TBR so you guys know exactly what I'm reading for this month. But it definitely includes all of these so I'll probably like link that video somewhere in here. I'm so excited. These are all some really good picks. I'm glad I actually took my time today to find books that I know I'll enjoy because my last like book shopping video, I got books because like they were cheaper but like they're not books that i was like super excited to read so yeah i'm really excited to read all these books though all these authors just sound so good the storylines the plots the characters they sound amazing lovable fun jaw dropping crazy so i'm really excited to read all these but that's pretty much it for my book shopping and book haul i hope you guys liked it you should definitely subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet to see more of me and i'll see you guys in my next video love y'all Bye. Ooh, I'm gonna pull up study to the side. She keep coming at me every day and night.